all right guys welcome back and we're going to continue with symbols so we spoke about bringing in the symbol scaling it and breaking it apart to see the elements so once we break it apart break link to symbol we can now go in each element and you could see in your color um, picker here that we get change the color of whatever element we choose right so I'm gonna undo that so what I'm going to do today is demonstrate the symbol sprayer tool and it's um it's found lower down in your um, toolbar and whatever symbol we choose let's choose something from maybe Nate here yeah let's choose a butterfly right so um, let's delete this now I just chose it so it could be um, you know dropped into the symbol swatches so once we have the butterfly selected I could go to my symbol sprayer and spray it on like this All right? and spray the butterflies on now these butterflies are um, at the top of the page here and they're facing one direction and they're very um, concentrated in certain areas so we could use different tools here so the, the symbol shifter symbols cruncher symbol sizer symbol spinner so if you use for example if you use the symbol spinner we can now change the direction of some of the butterflies like this right make it appear a little more random right that way um, you know it looks a little more random that way and we could also use something like a symbol sizer and make some smaller and some bigger so we could just increase the size of some butterflies here just by clicking it so we have different sizes of butterflies like that right let's make this one a little bigger whoops anyway let's leave it and we could also use a different a next to i mean you could go through each and every one of these and figure out what they do the very um you know self-explanatory so the symbol screener would give you a fade and change the opacity of of these butterflies of whatever symbol you put on so I could fade out each one and make some fade more than others right right like that and we have this effect going and now um you know we could use the symbol styler and that works with the graphic um s the graphic styles um panel here right we won't go into that uh today so let's say for example we use this pattern here and and what we want to do is create it like a watermark on this um letter size paper but as you could see here that the image is bled off the page and we really wanted to co to be constrained within these borders here right the page uh, artboard itself so what we're going to do is really define this area here with a shape and it doesn't matter the color and we're going to select both the symbols and the shape itself and we are going to object clipping mask make and we make that clipping mask now we could see that it's cut off and now we have this page here which could be actually a uh, letterhead but if we move the m ooh, let's move it to the bottom that way it if, if it's like a letterhead we could you know we could it looks better at the bottom because it doesn't really um affect the writing on top which is where the important information goes so just like that we created a um uh 
effect um, with some symbols and you know we create a template a letter template by using patterns right creating letter it's a very um, easy in 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 design in <laughs> illustrator right we use um you could use indesign or even photoshop to create letterheads but i think the most appropriate program is illustrator now one thing that we haven't seen is the rulers and the guides now i've explained smart guides to you but let's include the rulers so view um in the view menu we are going to rulers show rulers and when we show the rulers now we could add guides so to pull a guide you go in your ruler not in the corner not in the top corner here just anywhere on the left column here would pull a vertical guide and we could snap it like this and i know for a fact this is half of the page so anything we put now i know the page um is exactly in half right so eight and a half by Eight and a half by eleven will bring it to four point two five, and that's where that marker is anyway, right? But the, the smart guys will help you to do that. So to bring this one down, we could just look at the page numbering, and we know five and a half is half of um, eleven. So we could just drop this one here. That directly indicates the center point of our page, right? And it's important to to pull guides and rulers to know that hey this is where our center point is to give you some sort of um, alignment um, guidance whenever you rest in objects on your page you could also pull guides to to determine a margin so you could say well um, let's go to quarter inch and have a quarter inch margin on this side and we'll start our text whatever if we go to our text tool and draw a text box we know that the text box occupies quarter, from quarter inch um, margin to the middle of the page here right and let's leave the orange some for now so now we can start adding content like that so guides are very important especially in illustrator especially anytime you're doing any sort of layout you need to use guides okay so the next step I'm going to um, do is how to create symbols like custom symbols so let's look at um, a simple star for now and increase it to increase it let's increase it I like a five-pointed star right and we could draw a star here um, yeah let's leave it black and let's copy it by holding alt resizing um, it's right there Just resize resize right so let's say um this here is our new symbol so just like the butterflies we want to use the symbol sprayer to, pray, to spray on this and it's very simple to do you highlight everything um you know what let's change the color of some of these stars so let's go in our swatches and change um this to to blue and um illustrator has something called a color guide right that will help us choose colors if you're struggling i don't really use it but it's it's a um it's a handy tool in time so let's look at um complementary colors right so you know complementary split complementary uh, monochromatic so let's go to complementary colors so if i choose blue a uh, complementary color would be this kind of brown but um, let's work with a little pink yeah right so that way the complementary color would be uh green and we could now select the green and make and use the green as a guide to choose well let's go with a uh, pink a lighter pink and then with this lighter pink I'll choose this other green here right so 
with these selected now, right? Looks kind of funky. We can now create a symbol. So let's create a symbol. And to do that, we go in the symbols panel. And in the symbols panel, have your drop down menu and click new symbol. And we could call it stars. And we're going to export type. Now we're going to change it from movie, movie clip to just graphic. Um, dynamic symbol or static symbol. We could leave it as a static symbol and hit OK. And now you see here that the symbol itself has been added. So let's delete this. And the symbol stays in the symbols panel. And now we could go to our symbol tool, symbol sprayer and select whatever symbol we need and just spray it on. And now we have a bunch of stars which are yeah a little overdoing it there. <laughs> right? So that is how you create symbols in Illustrator. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.